Mm -hmm. You told me it would be working soon, but it was a lie. Why do you say that? It has been one year and two months since they did anything. And after all this time, nothing. It's like there's no justice in this world anymore. Okay, let me get things straight. We're talking about software, right? Oh, fuck off! For today's sponsor, we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16, and using my SKEG discount code, will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shitgame Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel after some days. Uh, in the previous days, I've been actually having a, a time for myself. It is needed from time to time, of course. Uh, and basically, yeah, basically I'm just not promoting because I actually paid for them, but... I actually pulled the trigger after several months and bought these Ray-Ban sunglasses. And I'm just saying this since you guys always compliment my glasses, so... Yeah. <laughs> so today's video is about one thing that AMD uh, kind of forgot for over one year. Precisely one year and two months. So, when I say they forgot, it's more like they put the project aside and, and I, I don't know why. why. So NVIDIA has this feature, uh, having it working properly or not, but they have the feature. While AMD actually ditched that one year, more than one year ago, like I said precisely, one year and two months. The feature is the HAGS, so the Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduler. So if you don't know what this is, basically the, the normal GPU scheduler is done with software. It's a mix of hardware and software, but mostly software. Um, and basically what this would do... <coughs> <coughs> shit. <coughs> and basically this would make it fully hardware-based instead of having a bit of hardware-based and the rest software-sided, okay? This would theoretically in some GPUs help in terms of FPS numbers while gaming and also reduce latencies. Okay, so we would have more FPS in some cards in some scenarios, for example in lower end cards this could actually help in terms of performance in most games and we would have less latency because we would have no software layers to pass, for, uh, to pass by, sorry, so it would be all hardware sided, okay? And well, I posted this on Reddit, on AMD's Reddit like two or three days ago and it had over 1200 upvotes. And some people said that this was useless, some people said they had Nvidia cards and this did absolutely nothing. I mean, in some cards it would even it would even have lower FPS and in some others stuttering and so on and so on. But well, I tested with the only AMD driver when it came out like one year ago, the 20.5.1 beta. We are currently at the 21.7.1 as you can see in this video. And the last and first driver that actually supported the hardware scheduler was indeed the 20.5.1. I tested it in that time and I actually had no stutterings, no stutterings at all. It, it all went smoothly and I actually had one or two FPS more uh, with my RX 5700 XT. Now, one thing that I noticed is that I actually went from like 180 watts to like 220 watts for just a bit more FPS, but I suppose that it was due it was due to the um, to the hardware scheduler not being optimized because it was the first driver and it was a beta version. I mean, it's not like we need it because it's not a game changer like smart access memory, for example, but it would be good to have. Uh, alongside with smart access memory and maybe alongside with a new direct storage that, that is coming to Windows 11, okay? So that would be really, really nice. 
If you don't know what direct storage is, it's basically, uh, it has to do with data from the HDD and so on, so on, so on. Instead of, of the CPU doing the work, asking the HDD data and then sending it to the VRAM, now uh, the GPU will actually, will actually access the data from the, the SSD directly without needing to ask the CPU for it. So load times will be a lot better. Texture streaming will no longer be a problem. Uh, so many things will be things will be really nice. So if we actually have smart access memory, the um, the hardware scheduler and the direct storage all together, it would be really really nice because with direct storage we have no texture streaming anymore. We have uh, loading times way better with hardware scheduler. We have lower latency. So basically, we we are all skipping uh, skipping steps with these technologies, which is pretty nice. For example, the smart access memory, with the normal, with the normal access of the VRAM, you actually have to make calls. And one call has a max of 256 uh, megabytes, sorry. So if you actually need one gigabyte VRAM, you'll have to make four calls of 256 megabytes to actually access one gigabyte. While with smart access memory or resize bar technology, you can actually make a call of the full GPU VRAM. So if you need six gigabytes VRAM for that instance, you can make it in one call, okay? Instead of making, uh, instead of needing dozens of them. So yeah, that's it. So having these three technologies would be really great. So I hope that AMD actually brings the, um, the hardware accelerated scheduler because um, what I mean is NVIDIA isn't taking, uh, isn't doing it properly because AMD isn't doing it either. If AMD was working on it, I guarantee you that NVIDIA would be optimizing uh, optimizing theirs as well. So yeah, you see where I'm going with this. So guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this topic and if we actually, actually need the hardware scheduler or not. Uh, I personally think we need, because like I said before, uh, I, we need AMD to bring it so Nvidia starts optimizing it again and then AMD does the same and we consumers, we as consumers just win from this because if we, if we actually have smart access memory, direct storage and this would be really, really nice. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.